Please welcome to the stage CTO and Senior EVP of Advanced Research Center, Korea Shipbuilding and Offshore Engineering, Sungjun Kim. Thank you, Gison. Our vision for future ocean mobility is deeply rooted in our commitment to a sustainable future. So today, I'd like to share with you three main ways in which we are leading the transformation of ocean mobility to decarbonize the global economy. First, an increasing portion of our energy freight will be renewable sources, especially hydrogen and ammonia. So we are developing future energy carriers for their safe and efficient transportation. Like the world's largest ammonia carrier with a 90,000 cubic meter capacity, which is also the first to be powered with carbon-free ammonia fuel, as well as the world's first liquefied hydrogen carrier with a capacity of 40,000 cubic meters. And operating the cargo containment system on these carriers will be our specialist software, Hygas Plus, a CES Innovation Award honoree. This AI-powered solution, on top of enhanced void of gas prediction, we use navigation data to enable real-time optimization for your ship's operation. So with both the hardware and software for transporting renewable energy sources, our future energy carriers will be ready to lead the world transition to carbon-free energy. Second, how we power these ships, we also need to change to make sure that we're carrying sustainable energy sustainably. In particular, our ships of the future will need to reduce their own carbon footprint in line with the industry's emerging consensus to achieve net zero by 2050. So at HD Hyundai, we are leading the decarbonization of our vessels with a wide range of low carbon or zero carbon power sources. Dual fuel engine for hydrogen or ammonia, for instance, will play an important bridging role until our ships can run 100% carbon free. At the same time, electrification is an accelerating trend, which will see about 30% of small and mid sized ships going electric by 2030. Electric vessels are great not just for their carbon reduction advantages, but also for more responsible control, greater flexibility in system design, low noise, and low vibration. So we are already doing on our world leading capabilities in electric system integration and have successfully delivered multiple electric propulsion shifts. For now, they are powered in parts by batteries and generator engines, just like our cars, which began their decarbonization by going hybrid. But soon, just as cars have then evolved to become fully electric, we will be able to use solid oxide fuel cell with hydrogen to power our ships much more efficiently and sustainably. You will hear more later about our plans for SFC. Furthermore, we are constantly innovating the design of our ships from their shape to resistance reduction features so they can be even more efficient and eco-friendly. Take our range of wind-assisted propulsion system, high rotor, our rotor sail solution, as well as wing sail. They maximize the aerodynamic forces to improve your ship's fuel efficiency by as much as 20 to 30% if the wind's right. We are also developing the world's first LNG carrier with its aerodynamically shaped superstructure in the front of the ship. This design can reduce wind resistance by almost 30% and also clears the deck space for a whole range of equipment for eco-friendly shipping. Yet another groundbreaking innovation, and you must come by our booth and see the mock-up. And finally, because those electric ships are, are also more electronic in terms of their operational system, they will accelerate automation and autonomous navigation for future ocean mobility. Take high EPS, our proprietary electric propulsion system. 
and another CES Innovation Ordinary. It provides a highly flexible and efficient hybrid power platform for our ships and can connect to a variety of energy sources like ESS, fuel cell, wind, as well as dual fuel generator engines. In its current configuration with ESS and LNG engine, it's already capable of reducing CO2 emission by about 30%. But on top of that, when it's linked with HINAS, our autonomous navigation solution, it will be possible to implement autonomous propulsion control for maximum efficiency. In fact, this sort of digital control and digital optimization begins right from our shipyard. At HD Hyundai's Hardware and the Loop Simulation Center, we have used HiDTS, our state-of-the-art digital twin solution, to successfully complete the world's first virtual trial runs on our new ships. These virtual trials save a great deal of time and cost in the shipbuilding process, and it's also possible to simulate much more extreme conditions so our ships come out more robust. Ultimately, these ships that are built on digital twin platform will enjoy digital advantages throughout their life cycle, from remote monitoring and operational optimization to predictive maintenance. And with Digital Convergence Center at our new R&D headquarters as a global hub, these digitalized ships will lead our journey towards totally unmanned operation of our ships. Much more efficient and sustainable with real-time optimization, less dependent on the availability of a trained crew, and therefore more economic and even safer. Unmanned shipping is the ultimate goal in our future ocean mobility. And on that note, to tell us more about how this future vision for ocean mobility extends well beyond the transformation of individual ships, please welcome to the stage John Back from Hyundai Global Service. <laughs> 